Welcome to an incomplete guide to personal growth. We invite you to take a breath and take a listen to our podcast that explores the wonder, humor, challenges, and sometimes those self-inflicted wounds on the journey of personal growth. Our weekly podcast conversations include stories, resources, and tools that you can incorporate into your daily life. We're the mother-daughter duo of Sydney West and Kelly Arendelle. Hi, Mom. Hey, Sid. How are you? I'm doing great. Um, oh, you had a good experience recently. I did. It just made me laugh because a couple of episodes ago when we were talking about friends, mm-hmm. I learned the term of fringe. Yes, fringe friends. Fringe yeah. friends. Mm-hmm. And I have not, I had not been running for a long time. I messed up my routine and I would go walking, do stuff in the afternoon. But mm-hmm. I, anytime I walk, I don't go on the same route that I run because yeah, in my different. head, <laughs> it feels different. So, and I don't want to get the two, don't ask. Anyway. <laughs> Um, so I finally got back to it and I was, uh, I was out in my routine and I came across these ladies that I have seen walking. I, it's been five, six, seven years, who knows how many, <laughs> but we always wave, don't mm-hmm. do anything back, but just wave. Mm-hmm. And so I saw them and one of them stopped and said, wait, wait, what's your name? I've been wondering, I keep saying, where's that lady? Anybody seen that lady? So oh what's your name? God. And so I told her, you know, Kelly, and we, we talked a minute, and I said, you know, just gotten off my routine, but I'm back. That's and she always funny. good to see you. And I just started laughing because I thought, it matters. It does. Because I, I do, I look for them too. That is so funny. Yeah. And to yeah. go, the, and that you went that long, not, nah, and they know. And they notice. Them. Matters, you know, and they don't, they don't live. And back. then it like fills you up a little bit. You know? Exactly, exactly. It really did. It just made that run. And I, now every time I go out, I'm like, oh, got to leave at that right time so I can wave <laughs> to my friend. You know, and we'll meet at different places yes, along the way. Yes, but still pretty much the same. around the same so, time. Yeah. That is so funny. So, fringe groups, fringe they matter. Groups. They do, even just walking yes. to a little Fair Oaks town. Yeah. That's so funny. Isn't that? Uh, yeah. Um, Okay, this week. So last yes. week we did part one of our tools and we kind of touched our first three episodes of that. Mm-hmm. So this mm-hmm. week we're going to continue that. So kind of touch on the next three episodes of just giving some more concrete, like reviewing. I'm sure we talked about these tools anyway, but in the episode, but just reviewing and kind of giving people some concrete things to look back on. Um, but you, there's this one poem, it's kind yeah, of a poem, a, right? It's a yeah. poem, yeah. That, yes. that we feel like, all three of these next episodes kind of it all ties in together it so does. we're gonna mom, mom will read the poem and we'll just kind of show how it all ties together yes. yeah um, and use that as kind of our concrete yeah resource yeah i first have to say this a book and it'll be on our website living from the center by jay mcdaniel he's a he was he's retired yeah. uh, a professor at um a Methodist school in Arkansas. And it's Hendricks so good College, that she it gave it to me and then she was looking for it and couldn't find it at her house. So she bought a whole I other had to get copy. a whole new one because <laughs> Sydney. It is in my took house. It and didn't yep. return it, but that's yep. okay. It is the most, it was written in 2004, I think he said it was, or 2000. Anyway, it is. And you still but it, use it. It is yeah. timeless. There are some, some that, and if you read it, you'd think it was written today. Yeah. Um, but anyway, he, in this book, he writes a poem and I'm just, I, reading it it's called lucky life lucky life is like this lucky there's an ocean to come to lucky you can judge yourself in this water lucky the waves are cold enough to wash out the meanness lucky you can be purified over and over again lucky there is the same cleanliness for everyone lucky life is like that lucky life oh lucky life a lucky, lucky life, lucky life, and that's by Gerald Stern. Nice. And I love this because it ties in both with my faith, but I think with any mm-hmm. anything that we yeah. do in any anyone any yeah faith belief yeah or belief is that you begin again and again and mm-hmm. again, and that's what lucky. And when you, when you first hear lucky, you think a lottery and 
and happenstance. But yeah. that's not, and I'm going to read some of what he says, but mm-hmm. um, Jay McDaniel's comments on this. Um, he uses this poem and says, let's say we are indeed lucky to be alive. Not just when things are going well mm-hmm. or uh, for us or those we love or when they're, you know, but also when we're sad and lonely, when we're mean and bitter, mm-hmm. we're still lucky to be alive. And let's also assume that this luckiness doesn't lie in our circumstances um, that we face because sometimes they're fortunate, sometimes they're unfortunate, sometimes they're deserved. (coughs) I walk into my own mess, (laughs) I turn the fan on, I'm standing in front of it. Um, Or it's undeserved. Instead, let's recognize that bad things do happen that should or could or should Mm -hmm. be otherwise. Um, Earthquakes, murder, abuse, Mm -hmm. car accidents nailing good people to crosses, Mm -hmm. nailing ourselves, Mm -hmm. getting nailed, Mm -hmm. and us doing it as well. Mm -hmm. So let's say that our luckiness lies in the capacity to respond to the circumstances, day by day, moment by moment, Mm -hmm. in fresh and healing ways. That's what the water is about to me. If we're sad, we can gently be sad Mm -hmm. as we heal. If I've nailed someone, and really just let them have it mm-hmm. and then realize it was wrong. Maybe I spread gossip. Maybe I, who knows what mm-hmm. I did. Um, then I can ask forgiveness. And when somebody has nailed me, mm-hmm. you can I can do. choose forgiveness. Yeah. And those responses, that's luck. Yeah. And we call it blessed, but I use that too much. And I like lucky yeah. because... I don't know, just maybe a different metaphor sometimes helps. And this is all your response to the this poem? Is his, or yeah, this is, this Jay, is McDaniel. Jay McDaniels. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. And, um, but we do have choices. We have the option. That ocean is there. Yeah. And one of the things I thought about, because <laughs> I'm a wimp when I get in the water, right? I get yes. in with the toe. Oh my gosh. I don't dive in like some people. No. But when you go in the ocean... Ah, and when I was in Norway, we <laughs> did one of those polar things. Oh, oh polar my plunge. gosh. Okay. So the shock of the water, mm-hmm. sometimes when I get in the water and I'm honest with myself, it is shocking. Yeah. It is as shocking as being, as jumping into that ice water and going, yeah. oh, Kelly, mm-hmm. you were mean. Yeah. Oh, Kelly, yeah. you said you did. But with that honesty, I can see it clearly. Mm-hmm. And that's where we get to begin again. Yeah. I mean, because those and polar plungers reset your nervous system. Yes. You know, that's like what that's it does. Big, yes. For anxiety, right? Yes, too. that too. That's what, yeah. And so it resets your nervous system. So then when you can be that clear with yourself so, emotionally inside, then it can just reset That's everything a right. really great analogy. I love that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because it, it is. It's like, okay, mm-hmm. wow. Now, I, there may be repercussions I have to deal with. Yeah. But at least I can face them honestly. Mm-hmm. And you can't begin to deal with things till we do that. Yeah. Or I can't, yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, Instead of being blind. You know, and I was thought I thought of this the other day. I was in the kitchen and I was cooking dinner, which for me takes concentration. It does. <laughs> and so I and Paul, your your dad, Paul came yeah. in, and he had been working out, and he stopped, and he said because he knew I'd had a conversation with my dad. Oh yeah. And I was real frustrated because some physical therapy stuff was on hold, and, and uh, so I was yeah. talking to him, but I was sounding really frustrated and when he asked questions i just snark i just snapped like back short, yeah because i wasn't real sure in my own head what i was going to do now or mm, things and, yeah. and i wasn't explaining it or he wasn't hearing it i don't know which. yeah but anyway yeah. i he went on he you know didn't say anything yeah he went, you know said okay and went on upstairs and when he came back later i apologized because i thought mm-hmm. i wasn't I, it wasn't a time to talk i should have just said yeah. let me tell you at dinner i'm you know, yeah. between focusing on how you <laughs> cook ground meat, no, yes. but I'm focusing on dinner and yes. and then that I was still you dealing with my head. frustrations yeah. and thinking, what is there something I need to do, or is this just something to write out? Yeah, <clears throat> excuse me, but yeah. anyway, so but that's that's a small moment mm-hmm. of me going, oh, Kelly, go to the water, start again. Yeah, yeah, moment by moment. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, that's so yeah, good. Yeah, isn't that great? Yes. Um, and so I think we're tying into our fourth episode being, we talked about being judgmental. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that ties in especially with like the new moments um, yes. and just being yeah. 
yeah. being washed and being cleansed by mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Um, and you kind of, you kind of had that example. So I think, too, then let's say we take this example from dad's mm-hmm. point of view. He comes in. <laughs> And you know, I'm not. No, I'm if like, it had been me, I would have reacted differently than he I know. did. Well, and yeah. and he did. You know, he didn't go there. And so it's like he comes in, and that happens. I mean, I would, I would probably be like him and not really say anything. But yeah. then in my head, I'm always like, yeah. what the heck is the one here? What the heck? Is I just can't. And then I'd like start shutting yes. down. I would yeah. 100% start shutting down. Yeah. Um, but that would be, I think, passing judgment on you and not. You know, giving you that space and it's like, and being like, okay, what's happening to her has yeah. nothing to do with me. It has nothing to do with me. Right. And dad's able to do that. Right. And then yeah. come back. So how would you say the people, like, if I walk away from that situation, mm-hmm. I'm dad, but let's say I'm not in the right head space and yeah. I'm like, oh if my that, gosh, it, she was so mean to me, that hurt, yeah. blah, blah, blah. How do you reset? How do you reset? With someone, you know, with yeah. someone else. Because I think if you're the one that's doing it, then sometimes can, it's then a little easier because you're yeah. like, oh, I know why I was doing that. Yeah. But I think if you're the other person where the judgment was coming, you know, it's yeah. like you're judging the other person yeah. for their outburst. Right. And two things. One is I feel like I, if, I, if I was your dad, mm-hmm. I would have felt like, I hope there's an explanation coming for that. Yeah. And an yeah. apology. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's the reason I'm doing it doesn't give me the excuse, excuse to get yeah. to be that way. Yeah. You know, and, and hopefully I can stop myself sooner. Yeah. And often I do, not always, obviously. <laughs> um, and go, I can't explain it right now. Can I talk? Yeah, at dinner or whatever. Yeah. At dinner or whenever, you know, yeah. after, after we eat, whatever. But, yeah. but if I'm that person that's hurt, one of the things that helps me is stepping but not stepping back widening my view Mm -hmm. and giving the other person a benefit of the doubt to go something's going on yeah i'm gonna give them a minute Mm -hmm. and see if they you know and maybe even then later when things are that was you know you were kind of snappy is everything okay yeah checking in yeah checking in that way Mm -hmm. just kind of asking and you know and that that's a mild case there's things yeah that are much but they can be much that. bigger and they but can be happen at work where it's really touchy or right but something. i think if you know how to do it in the small yes small ones it makes you practice with the small and yeah. then it makes eventually the bigger ones yeah to a go, little well, I easier don't know what, i'm not walking in their shoes at this moment mm-hmm. i haven't i didn't see what happened earlier in their day right i didn't know and mm-hmm. and again just giving them some grace i saw this yeah. quote about judgment um, can I turn judgment into an observation mm. and take the personal view out of it? Yeah. That person is having a rough day. Mm-hmm. It's not about me. And I've had rough days. And mm-hmm. I think that's too, is to go, yeah, when have you, Kelly? Yeah. Okay. It doesn't... It, yeah. yeah. It doesn't excuse everything. No. And I'm not saying to write it off, and I'm not saying to be a doormat. Yeah. But I'm going, I have to let you be where you're at. Mm-hmm. I may not need to be near where you're at, but, you know. Yes, but yes. <clears throat> it's where yeah. we can be. Yeah, yeah, um, definitely. And one of the things that I jotted down about judgments is, <clears throat> notice for me mm-hmm. how judgment um, disturbs my inner peace. Mm. When I start judging somebody, I don't care if it's a, you know, if if I'm looking at somebody's yard, <laughs> going well. That's what everybody's doing in my yard. Look how much they're doing in yard. Boy, they're spending a lot of money on that yard. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I can Why am I? Why does that matter to me? Yeah. Yeah. Am I feeling not good about my yard? Maybe, but that has nothing to do with it. Yeah. Right. And so it's it's yeah. It's just being aware of. You know, judgment, what does it do? Yeah, it doesn't add anything. No, it it, no. it makes me <clears throat> uneasy yeah. inside. Yeah. Oh, definitely. So, you know, it's... Yeah. Ugh. Um, I think that makes sense. I'm no, sure. no, it does. It does. <clears throat> yeah. So I feel like... So I feel like with that being judgmental episode, yeah. I feel like those are good tools of just, like, widening perspective. 
Um, yes. Feeling that wash, that cleanse. Yeah, you know. I've got a couple things. Uh, to s- yeah. One of the tools mm-hmm. to use is simply that that stopping and noticing how we're feeling. Yes. Because we don't do that a lot, or I don't do that a lot. Let me not take make blanket statements. I'm not going to ignore the hurt and disappointment or the judging thoughts or the meanness. I'm not ignoring it. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm going to observe it. Yeah. You know, in myself and others. And then use gentle statements. Mm-hmm. I wish I hadn't as said that to Paul right off the bat. Mm-hmm. I hope Next I might time. do it differently. Yeah. Just being gentle with your words on yourself mm-hmm. and then eventually yeah. you might and be able I, to use them with others. Yes. And I think like taking <clears throat> that extra second, not saying something right away. Like I think, yeah. especially in the world we live in, it's like mm-hmm. you don't you don't think to leave space for that silence and stuff just for a yeah. second. And honestly, it probably doesn't feel as awkward or as long as what you think. It never does. Um, yeah. no. So just taking that extra time to to give yourself a second to process. Mm-hmm. Or even if you need it, then just say, I need just one minute. Yeah. Like, let me think through this. You know, just mm-hmm. ask. Yeah. 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 Um, this other, and I'll have, this mm-hmm. came from a website now yeah. on the down anyway Mm -hmm. i will put that on there too it says we hold each other's eat we hold each person's story as theirs to explore Mm. we do not try to force another person to some ideal we hold ourselves to so where that person is is where they're at yeah and you can't push them down the road (laughs) uh, if they're a gardener who just does it doesn't does well great great yep I'm not there. No, we're so not. So do I have to judge myself to them? Yeah. My, their standard. Or yeah. if it's the opposite. You know, mm-hmm. I, I can remember, my mom's a big yard person, right? So everything, <laughs> yes. she didn't even like us playing on the grass, <laughs> you know, when we were growing up. I know. That was one of her reasons yeah, yeah, yeah. to say. But, yeah. it, you know, and so she would always be commenting, well, you don't know what stage or state of life that person is in. Mm. If they've lost somebody. And, or they turned ill or whatever. They don't, and they can't afford somebody to do the yard. It's going to look cruddy. Oh, yeah. So what? It's a yard. Or if you, oh my God. Or if you want to go out and do something about it. There's always that offer there rather than the criticism. Mm-hmm. But it's that stopping going, I don't know where they yeah. are in their story. Yes. And they need to explore it and figure out what they can do. Yeah, yeah. And, and you mm-hmm. know, that that's for them. Yeah. It's not for me. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yes. For sure. So, yeah. If they get a citation from the HOA, that's on them. That's not on you. <laughs> HOAs. I just love you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just uh, like, I mean, I don't, I don't like those, I'm but a, I mean, yeah. that is a way it'll get taken care of. That's true. Um, <laughs> mm. um, okay. I want to move on because our episode five was small things. Yes. And I feel like I want to touch on that Lucky Life poem mm-hmm. and how how that ties in to noticing small things. Cause what there's the lucky luckiness of like, even when you wake up and you're mad or it's a bit, it's like, but you it's, still, how do you like seeing yes. yourself as lucky? Lucky seeing. Well, cause not, what are, can you read yes. those lines of the poem? Yeah. Let me see. Thinking lucky of? life is like this. Lucky. There's an ocean to come to. Mm-hmm. Lucky. There's you lucky. You can judge yourself in this water. Lucky the waves are cold enough to wash out the meanness. Lucky you can be purified over and over again. And lucky there's the same cleanliness for everybody. Yeah. See, I don't have to worry about anybody because that's available to them to if them. they choose to go to the waters. Mm-hmm. And it's available to me if I choose. If I yes. choose not to, I can start my day off bad and it'll get worse. Yeah. And I can yeah. remember... In, I didn't know this poem at the time, but I can remember when I when I was starting out on my own, mm-hmm. and yeah, I'd save a little bit of money. I'd be trying to save. I worked in a church. Ugh, it's hard yeah. to save money. It's hard to save money. Um, <laughs> but I'd put money back, and I can remember getting a flat tire. Ugh, and just did it. and then slowly my mind began to shift. I don't know if it was the first flat tire, but eventually <laughs> when I'd get one, it'd go, Kelly, you can. You can pay, pay for cash it. for this. Mm-hmm. You don't have to 
take quiet up tire credit and or whatever. Then have yeah. debt. Mm-hmm. So lucky life, lucky life. Man. Because of my, it didn't change, nothing changed. Yeah. It was a lucky life, you know, and, and I have people, you know, when working down at the homeless, the homeless mm-hmm. shelter, lucky life. Yeah. They still felt it. If you find it. If you find because it. Because of where they were and where they are. Yes. In, in yeah. the addiction programs or in yes. other things that we do, we can find that. Mm-hmm. In those little, in the, those little things. You know, yeah, I, mean, yeah, yeah. I know people that have, gosh, gone through tragedy that, I, that mm-hmm. I've never had. Mm-hmm. And I look and they find this glimmer yeah. of lucky life. Yeah. I can go to these waters. I can see, you know, the, the small things. Yeah. And it, it's the small things. Oh, yeah. That if I can just get a glimpse of that. Mm-hmm. And sometimes we hold that light for others, so that's important to remember. Yeah, but that too, yeah. If I can just get a glimpse of somebody cared, somebody did this, oh. Yeah. I laughed. Mm-hmm. Lucky life. Yes. And I think, I think too, with the, with the water imagery mm-hmm. and stuff and that, I mean, that seems, to me, water is a, sim- a it, simple thing. It is, You yeah. know, that provides a lot. And it's just yeah. like as simple as just going in the water and feeling and that. That's that can be enough. You know, mm-hmm. that can be enough to feel it. Yeah. And, and if yeah. I need to remind myself, goodness, I can go to the sink, can't I? It's true. Well, sure. You know, mm-hmm. and I, I know people with anxiety. That's something that they can do is go to the sink, yeah. get really cold water and put on or their ice, mm-hmm. whatever. But yeah, but put it on just to mm-hmm. kind of in the back of your neck and reset Sh- you. Anytime a baby is crying, yeah. you either take him outside or you put him in water. Put him in water. Yeah, that's true. So, Bath time. so it's it's this resetting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and going, lucky yeah. life, it's not my circumstances. Yeah. yeah. Because they can get ugly. Mm-hmm. They can get ugly. And I can remember, mm-hmm. I can't say what exactly, but there yeah. was one moment that was just truly low. Mm-hmm. And somewhere within me, there was, this is life, Kelly. Yeah. This is the fullness of life. And feeling lucky to live it, yes. you know? Yeah. And that's so hard. Because I loved find. enough to feel this pain. <laughs> yeah, that's true too. God, yeah. it's so hard. Yeah. Um, yeah. So with then episode mm-hmm. six, quiet time. Yes. Yeah. Could you model and just talk mm-hmm. through how you might use the Lucky Life poem or something? Okay. To have your quiet time. Okay. Yeah, meditation. One of the things that. I haven't used lately, but I have used in the past. It comes from Ignatius of Loyola. He it's okay. it's it's called Examen, E X A M E N. Oh, for, okay, okay, okay. And it's a way of looking at your day. And, oh, is this supposed to be like Examen and Amen together or something? I d- you know I never looked that far into it, but that's okay. just what they call it. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Examen. I don't know. <laughs> Somebody out there. Somebody out there will tell us. But um, <laughs> anyway, the, there's various takes on it, but it's a way to reflect on your day. Okay. Um, a lot of times, quiet time is starting your day. Yeah, but you sometimes you do. And sometimes or at you night, could and reflect it on the day before. Yes. You know, it and yeah. and one of the things it says, and th- and this will be on the website too, <laughs> is um, lots of this resources is, in this. Yeah, one. this is a. Uh, anyway, it, there's some yeah. steps to it. First is to ask for light. That mm-hmm. you may see your day as it really was, not just through your eyes, because I can think it's of always the petty stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Or I can think of only the good. But just what is, you know, as, yeah. let me look with clearer eyes. And yeah. that may be through, people will say God's eyes or just the eyes of my heart, whatever yeah, that may be that's yeah. broader. Um, so that I can see my day. Yeah. And then I'll give thanks. Uh, gratitude. Mm-hmm. For the small things that I might have encountered, yeah. For that I did wake up and I did muster myself to get out of bed yes. for a moment, mm-hmm. if it if I'm in that state, or that whatever yeah. you know, or it may be just a huge thing. Yeah, it's, life isn't you know there's, yeah. there's all of them mixed <laughs> yeah. in, but the gratitude, and then to review the day. Step number three, um, kind of look back on what's been completed, mm-hmm. and the completion yeah. of your day. What what all transpired? Mm -hmm. Where was I kind? Yeah. Where was I laugh? Where was my joy? Mm -hmm. Where was my not so joy? Yeah. Anything I need to think about and change or become, you know, aware of and maybe for the next day, right? Mm -hmm. And then whatever shortcomings there were, 
Yeah, you know, yeah, I can look at those and then go, okay, that that's not all bad, you right, know. Um, right. And I think our shortcomings. I think that was the last step. Oh, and then look forward to the day. Look yeah. for the day to come. Yeah. yeah. Because I, I I think we don't need to hold on. No. To all this, all mm-hmm. this stuff. Yeah. If we keep doing it. It just gets heavy, and and it's not productive. Yeah. But yeah. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. And I'm thinking. I'm thinking too. So a lot of this has to do with like your own stuff. Yes. Yep. And but we live in a world where other people affect us. <laughs> truly, truly. You know, and so yeah. when we're yeah. doing that sort of thing, if we think about shortcomings, so like if we feel like oh somebody else fell short and that affected me that, like is that something too that you can sure try and to work go, through you know and yeah definitely mm-hmm. and one of the things that and i think i touched on this last time was when somebody's hurt me yeah said things done things whatever that may be mm-hmm. i need to give you know I, I i can't do them yeah yeah and maybe there was a confrontation maybe it's a thing where i can verbalize mm-hmm. it another time maybe not but i can give that back to them right gently for them to deal with with their god their higher mm-hmm. power when they can because as that yes. statement says <laughs> you know people are where they are yeah. and they have to explore their lives for themselves yeah and where they're at and what they can do mm-hmm. and and so and that's hard to release that because i i boy do i ever have tapes that keep playing <laughs> over and yes. then I want to say then I'm going to do and oh, then all I'm the gonna, time and it's yes. like and it gets me nowhere and it makes my body feel stressed yes really stressed and, yeah and yeah. so to go you know that's theirs mm-hmm. and I hope the best that they can for them yeah right because yeah. I want goodness in the world right and if I'm throwing throwing it back at them no yeah that's they yeah. feel that yes you know so it's gently giving them yes. back for them to deal with and and, you and that's a long it's process a, oh my gosh i'm still working on <laughs> i it. feel like sometimes if you just think it or say it even if you don't 100 percent believe it that's okay too oh yeah. <laughs> you know oh you have that's why it's called practicing yeah, yeah. and and it, you know you just keep doing it and sometimes you recognize it sooner sometimes yeah. you don't but there's no reason to beat yourself up over it right this is this is life yeah and we learn as we go mm-hmm Yes. And there's a country song in that, but I won't <laughs> sing it for you. No. Life's a dance no. and there no. as you go. Oh, well, Sorry. you did anyway. I did anyway. Sometimes. Anyway. Sometimes you don't. Uh-huh. Anyway. Um, that's funny. But that's a good, that's a good quiet, like, example, because then it's like you kind of are just taking stock of. Yes. Yeah, and as you going. start your day, I mean, there mm-hmm. may be things, if this is, if say, judgment's an issue you're working on, whatever it may be that mm-hmm. you're. Yeah. thinking that you want to grow in yeah um every morning or have a post it somewhere that reminds you let my heart be open mm-hmm. and less judging today yeah may i be less judging and that mm-hmm. means for ourselves because i hate to say we're talking about judging other people no it's ourselves oh, too my yeah goodness how often i judge yeah yes I, there's some people that i the improv they have a different life than I do. Yeah. You know, they're a different mm-hmm. state. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they're like diving in, doing all these extra shows and doing this stuff. And I'm like, I just... <laughs> can't do it. I can't. Right, that's not where I can no. be right now. Yeah. But I feel bad sometimes. It's like, stop. They're yeah. living theirs and you're living yours. Yes. And that's yeah. how we do. Yeah. So. Yeah. Definitely. That's, that's kind of to watch our own judgment. Yes, that too. For sure. For sure. We're where we're at. That story, that line about... Um, we hold each person's story as theirs to explore. Mm-hmm. That means we hold ours to explore, explore. as yeah. well. So we're yeah. where we're at because that's where we can be. Yeah. I can't be where some of my friends are going, wow. Yeah. They've really got it together or whatever I'm yeah. thinking of them. Because yeah. Because this is where I am. Yeah. Yep. And it's a good place it's and a it's place. a lucky life. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. And so wherever you are... And we're now in, episode, okay. we're in your personal growth journey. That's where you are. And that's, that's where okay. where you are. And yeah. it's a lucky life. That's right. Love it. That's so good. Yeah. So that kind of, um, so yeah, so you spent these two weeks kind of talking about tools. Hopefully that kind of helped you recenter a bit or just remind you, give you some stuff to work on. We're going to kind of continue our themes. Mm-hmm. 
Starting next week, we're going to talk about laughter and the importance of that. Um, And so we gave you kind of what? And we're going to have a guest after that. Yes, we are. A little from the improv. Yes. So kind of have a little little pairing of episodes. Um, And so if you like that quiet time example, you can become a member of our Patreon and we'll keep giving out meditations like we did um, a few weeks ago. Um, I made that public. And then if you want more, then you can subscribe Um, and make sure to see our website, Instagram, um, all of that good stuff. You can email us anytime um, and incomplete guide at gmail.com and give us Mm -hmm. topic ideas or ask questions whatever it is engage with us through instagram um yeah you can find us everywhere so so we look forward to being with Mm -hmm. you next week when we take a breath and take a listen thank you for listening to this week's episode of an incomplete guide to personal growth there are many ways you can stay connected follow us on instagram at an incomplete guide podcast where you can sign up for our email list and get posts that delve deeper into our weekly topics make sure to subscribe to our podcast page wherever you listen to your podcasts we would really appreciate a rating and sharing us with your family and friends we're so glad you chose to spend your time with us and hope there was a thought a resource or a laugh that you can take on your journey we'll be here every tuesday for you to take a breath and take a listen Thank you.